Welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, a discerning heart. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this so a greater people? And the speech pleased the Lord, that Solomon had asked this thing. 1 Kings 3, 9 and 10. God guides us by revelation and by relationships. That means you need discernment about the people that come into your life. For example, when trouble hits, you discover who your friends really are. You can't lose a friend. For the word says, a friend love it at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Proverbs 17, 17. But a lot of us get hurt by discovering that some people weren't really true friends at all. A man who was going through some difficulties reached out to a pastor. He thought he would stand by him. The pastor said, I'm sorry you're going through this, and I'll pray for you, but it would hurt me to associate with you at this moment. People might think that I'm being soft and sin. <laughs> How sad. But question to you, would you have acted any differently? Discernment is not to be used for judging people. It's for discerning their spirit. Have you ever been around someone with a critical spirit, a competitive spirit, a controlling spirit? Jesus once said to his disciples, You know not what manner of spirit ye are of. Amazing. Even the disciples could not discern the spirit that was at work in their own ranks. Question. Can you? The thought of the day. Today when you ask God for a discerning heart, he'll give you one. God bless you today. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.